Should we see everything through the lens of race or should we just acknowledge that race was never not a thing and there were people who were affected by that fact at every point in history? Is that is that what you're going for or is that what you hope for? What would be your aspiration in the way that we learn the Black experience or learn history? Imagine if someone told you to share your story or to walk through your life, but you can't come at it from the lens of a man. Mm -hmm. You can't come at it from the lens of being Jewish. Mm -hmm. That, or say, say, Susan, say, Susan, think about like everything that goes on like in your life or has gone on in your life now, take, you know, try to take away that lens of you being a woman. That's very, very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And, and again, it's not that it's bad. It's just about being aware of it all. Cause mm -hmm. when you get outside of even like basic facts, like the sky is blue and two plus two equals four, there's pretty much that there's pretty much bias to everything. And it's because we are all coming at life from a different lens. Right. And so I oftentimes say like, I just don't know if it's possible or if you're, when people put things out there of like, why does everything have to be about race? That oftentimes is like, as a person who's part of a marginalized race, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's asking me to walk through life and be like, Marin, like, don't see it from the lens of being black. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 that's just, that's just is, right? Um, now, like, that might mean I land on or I view a certain scenario or I view an aspect of history or something like that different from Landon or different from even Marcus being a Black woman versus a Black man, whatever. But it doesn't necessarily mean either one of us is quote unquote right or wrong. It's just different perspectives. And I think some of the conversations we've been even having about like the way history is taught and things like that, like, like I think a lot of times people forget, especially in, in circles of, of higher education and those who write textbooks and things like that, it is perfectly, perfectly normal for aspects of history to be debated for that reason. Right. Like when people are acting like, oh, the 1619 project, other academics disagree with it. That happens with every history book. <laughs> like you can pick any any like history book and someone is going to have a different perspective on it. And it's very normal for academics to debate and discuss. Um, and again, it's just we come at it from a different lens and we oftentimes come at it from a lens through which is part of our core identity that is shaping the way that we are being treated. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I'm, for, for me, I think it's just about honoring and listening to all those different perspectives without judging or gaslighting, right? Mm -hmm. um, even if you, you just want it included, you want that perspective. Yeah, to it's just about included, including it. But right? not making it the, the, the necessarily the central theme in every, at every point in time, but that there could right. be that lens because you experience that lens, Marin. And so if right. you don't include that lens, then then your part or you know the way you see history or the way history has maybe affected you gets left out and that's exactly exactly or it's not saying it's just saying that like there's no one lens that is the lens and all other lenses are wrong mm -hmm. which is where i think that we get into when discussing history it's like you have one group that's saying it is the lens of like the forefathers, white male landowners, and anyone else who like had a different perspective, you're wrong and you're not patriotic and you're disrespectful. No, that just kind of was the way that it was, right? And so I think we have to start looking at it from that perspective rather than it's just one voice. And if your voice or perspective disagrees, you're wrong. I really, I really like that. You know, I think that that's like maybe part of the answer to the way forward is that you think of it and not as as a series of lenses, and you intertwine them to cover the breadth of this incredibly comp massive uh, history. Right? Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with you in that. I think that that's one way to put it to people. That helps them understand rather than read immediate defensiveness. To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me.
We look forward to seeing you in the next video.